Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Very exciting day because we just picked up our little puppy. Oh my gosh. So, been trying to keep this under wraps for a while until we got him. But yeah, today we're just bringing him home. So we're about 45 minutes away from home. So we're just gonna take him home and get him settled in. But this is Rocky. Say hello. Say hello, Rocky. Oh, bumpy. Sorry. That's right. Hey guys, so um, it's the next day because when we got him back yesterday, we didn't really want to be kind of shoving a camera in his face. We just wanted to enjoy time with him um, and sort of get him really settled. Excuse my uh, makeupless, sleepy face but he kept me up last night. So I've just had a bit of a nap on the sofa. I've literally just woken up. Um, but yeah, there he is. Hello, Mr. Rocky. <laughs> um, yeah, he is settling in so well. We are so, so surprised. So obviously when we first got him back yesterday, um, he was like a little bit timid for a little bit. And then he just completely like chilled out he's so confident he's so like cocky um he's got a proper little character on him he's so funny he makes us laugh so much um but yeah so yesterday it was just a rotation of take him to the toilet playing with him he'd have a little nap then he'd wake up we'd take him to the toilet give him a bit of food then play with him take him to the toilet again nap um so yeah we just spent a whole day yesterday just sort of with him and looking after him um, last night when we put him to bed, he cried for about half an hour. Um, and yeah, then he settled down, was fine. But when we went down this morning, so basically we put him in a doggy crate to sleep in, which we made all snuggy, put a blanket over it, lovely. Um, and he seems to quite like it. When we came down this morning, he wasn't in the crate and he'd managed to open the crate. There's two like, um, I don't know what they're called, like locks going across that you just sort of flick up and slide. He'd managed to undo both of the locks and escape from his crate. So he's very, very clever and mischievous. So we've got to watch out for that. Um, he's playing with his little donut that I got him. It's really cute. <laughs> Oh, I mean, have you ever seen a cuter puppy? No, I don't think they have. He's so lovely. <laughs> oh, he's got like new puppy smell as well. He's having his little like run around time, so I don't want to like pick him up too much. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd just chat a little bit about sort of um, when we decided to get him, why we decided to get that breed. Um, all this different things, yeah, so basically I've wanted a dog since forever. I grew up with dogs um, and my family still have dogs and I've always been like absolutely obsessed with dogs. So I've wanted one since I basically left home um, like five or six years ago. Um, and I'm really surprised I hadn't got one, just like spur of the moment got one because I've just wanted one so bad. Um, but because of um, obviously when I used to live in flats that I rented wasn't really working and then when I bought my first place You having a little listen? Huh? <laughs> yeah, when I bought my first place, um, it just wouldn't have worked out with the job I was in at the time. So um, With me and Steve and the situation that we're in now, this is the first time that it would have been really fair for us to get a dog where we could devote time to the dog um, and sort of give them a good life. So, um, yeah, obviously we moved in four months ago. Four months ago? Five months ago. Nearly five months ago. Um, and, yeah, we started kind of playing with the idea of getting a dog and really like researching into what we wanted. Um, and yeah, we found Rocky on Gumtree. So we knew that we wanted something small that we weren't gonna have to like exercise loads that was gonna be quite manageable. 
Um, we wanted something that would come and walk with us and have fun with us and be playful, um, but at the same time be the kind of dog that would just be really chilled out and sort of relaxed and be a bit of like a lap dog at the same time. So we kind of want the best of both worlds. Um, and then we were also really interested in getting a dog which is hypoallergenic, so they don't shed loads. Um, so that was another kind of thing on our list as well. And obviously just sort of um, fun, playful, friendly personality. So when I was younger, I had a Cavalier, which have really, really, really lovely personalities. Um, they're like your typical old lady dog, but they're so, so lovely. Um, so we were looking at um, a sort of Cavalier mix. So originally looking at Cavapoos, but Cavapoos are very, very fashionable and they're very hard to get their hands on. Um, so we kind of started looking at other different similar breeds around that. So Rocky is a Cavapoo Chon, which is, he's basically half to toy poodle, um, a quarter Cavalier and a quarter Bichon free. Um, so both the Poodle and the Bichon have um, sort of like low non-shedding coats which are hypoallergenic. Um, but then you get the sort of bigger really cute eyes of the Cavalier which is nice as well and obviously the personality of all three of those dogs tend to be really good as well. Um, so yeah that is the decision that we made. Um, we didn't have a choice with the litter actually. Um, so we found the breeder on Gumtree and like little warning here you have to be so careful when you look for dogs on Gumtree there are so many puppy farms so basically when you're looking for a breeder you need to make sure it's coming from a family home don't get a dog that's been sort of brought up outside especially with this type of dog um, because they're not outdoor kind of working dogs they're more like family friendly dogs they need to be brought up inside in a family environment so make sure you go check out the house, um, check out the breeder. You need to be able to see the mum. If they're not showing you the mum, then something's really wrong. Um, so when we went, we actually saw his mum and his grandma because they own both of them. So we were quite fortunate with that. Um, you don't tend to see the dad because they just stab them and then take them away. Um, but that's normal. But yeah, obviously asking for sort of like health check papers as well. Um, depending on what breed you're getting. So um, with his grandma, we have all like the health check papers from her eyes and her hips. And there's like a disorder they can get, which is called like curly coat or something like that. So she's been all cleared for the vets for that. Same with the mum, she's had some tests done as well. So they should be able to show you all this information if you ask for it. Um, so yeah, asking to see all of their like papers and everything like that. Um, yeah, so we found him Oh, when was it? So he was born on the 9th of November. So he was eight weeks yesterday, um, which is the earliest you can take them away from the mum. It's normally eight to 10 weeks is when you can take them away from mum. Um, so we found him before he was even born, like a couple of weeks before he was born. Um, I found him on Gumtree. The breeder posted like a really nice description, which sounded really, um, like she really cared, which is something that really swung it for me. There was a picture of the mum, picture of the dad, picture of the scans, um, the ultrasound from the mum. So obviously the description for me was really important because she sounded like she really cared and she wanted genuine, genuine homes for all the puppies and everything like that. And she was about a 45 minute drive from us as well. So I messaged her and said, let me know as soon as the puppies are born. We really, really want one. We're looking for a boy specifically. Um, that's just personal preference, to be honest. Um, I've always had male dogs. So we decided we wanted a boy pretty early on. We, uh, we were just kind of set on that. Some people don't mind. Um, yeah, it is what it is. But yeah, so I messaged her and um, she did say that you were welcome to come and meet her and the mum while the mum was pregnant. But when I messaged her, she said it was too close to the due date that she didn't want to run any risks of any infections coming in the house or anything like that, which I totally got and thought that was really good that she was didn't want people just coming in and out disturbing the mum. So we actually went to go see him very, very early and he was the only one left. So there was three boys and one girl. Um, and yeah, we saw him first of all at two weeks old. I'll put a picture in here because it'll show how much they change. 
over that time. So we saw him at two weeks old. He couldn't walk, see, hear. He was basically like a jelly bean. Um, and he, yeah, he just, he was like sitting in the palm of our hands. And um, yeah, we actually had to make a decision at that point. Normally I'd say like, wait till a puppy's got a personality. But with these kind of breeds, um, they, they're they so popular that people just snap them up. And that like, there was another person who was looking at that same litter. Um, she lives in Nottingham. She didn't even go and see the breeder. She just put down the deposit and reserved him, um, which I thought was pretty ballsy. Um, yeah, so we saw him at the two weeks. We met the breeder, met the mum who was really lovely and sort of got to know them a bit. Um, went away, thought about it and we were like, yep, it's definitely for us. So we didn't have a choice, but we were still very confident on the breeder and she showed us a previous litter which was like the same dad as well so he's got a few brothers from a previous litter so we knew look wise that he would be all right you all right mate um yeah when you look wise he was going to be what we were looking for um personality wise obviously you can't really tell until they're probably like four weeks old um so we were just kind of like well, we'll just have to see. So we put down the deposit, um, yeah, and then we said, can we come and look, meet him again um, when he's got his personality to make sure we're sort of making the right decision. And we went and saw him, first of all, maybe biased because I'm his mum, but I thought he was the most beautiful out of all of them. He was like the biggest and the curliest. And turns out he was like the little brute of the litter really sort of confident always first do everything sort of like he's right porky like really likes his food whereas some of the other ones were a bit timid and i just thought yeah that's like that's exactly what we wanted the cheeky little chappy um we didn't want a sort of like really nervous little dog or anything like that so i just think like i said this to steve sometimes things just line up and i think you know it the fact that we didn't choose him and he's hands down the dog we would have chosen, like hands down, um, just shows, doesn't it? But yeah, so we had to wait till eight weeks to have him. He came with Rocky, Rocky, being naughty. Come here. He came with um, his sort of puppy pack, which is basically like a bag of food. He has a month's insurance. Um, what else he have? Obviously all of his papers, which are really important. He's had his first vaccination. Um, hello. He's had his first vaccination. Be microchipped as well. So this is all the stuff that they should really like. If it's a deep, if it's a good breeder, they should all come with a standard. That's what you're kind of paying partly for. Um, hello. Um, oh, he's so cute. Ouch, we don't like bites. Um, yeah, so food, oh, he came with loads of toys. He came with like um, a kind of fluffy toy which had the smell of his mum and his like brothers and sister on it. Um, so it's like a familiar smell. Other random toys, I can't think what else he's come with. Yeah, but it's important that a puppy comes with all of that stuff. Um, he loves jumping up on like that coffee table and just looking at all of my stuff. Rocky? Hey. Hey. You gonna say hello? Yeah. When we've been taking photos, he, ta he sees himself like in the phone or in the camera and he's like, oh, hello. Um, yeah, I've lost my train of thought now. Yeah, so one thing I would say is like, when you buy a good dog from a good breeder, it isn't cheap, but don't look for like cheap dogs because there'll be something wrong with it. There'll be a reason why it's that cheap. Um, and if it's a decent breeder, then they'll charge you a fair price. Um, and like, I, I see so many on Gumtree where they're really, really cheap. And, excuse me off, he's chewing the curtain. Um, 
but you know that they're that yeah so puppy farms obviously put the prices really really low uh rocky <sighs> yeah so so far no accidents apart from he did pee in the night time but that's fair enough um and he's been so good at going outside and like obviously when he does pee outside we just praise him so much so that he knows he's been a superstar um but yeah he honestly has been like was well, only our first full day with him but um he has been amazing and like you know this morning we sort of um went down in the morning sort of let him out let him have breakfast and everything he's on three meals a day at the moment um which will go down to two um and so i keep on looking at him and i'm like losing my train of thought um yeah so he's on two meals at the moment uh three meals at the moment which will go down to two um and then this morning, yeah, we sort of gave him breakfast. I had a bit of play with him, um, knackered him out a little bit, put him in his crate and we went to the gym and left him for an hour um, just so he can start to get used to us not being around all the time. And it is difficult. Steve struggled with this more than I have. Um, but uh, <clears throat> like last night, um, obviously we can hear him crying. Oh my God, Rocky. Rocky. Obviously we can like hear him crying. Um, and you know you've just got to kind of leave them. Because he'll stop and he'll get used to it. And it's best just to get him used to it now. Rather than have troubles further down the line. Because we don't want to have a dog that's going to be sleeping in our bed. Um, but Steve was sat there like, oh, should we go check on him? And I was like, no. And same when we went to the gym. Obviously we could like hear him whining. Um, but he'll just whine for a little bit and then he'll go to sleep and when he's asleep he's such a deep sleeper honestly um but yeah so i might just show you guys um a few clips of him he's just he's in that mood at the moment where he just wants to eat everything he kind of flicks between being like cute and cuddly and sleepy and eating everything including my curtains so he's in a chewy stage right now but yeah i'll show you guys him <laughs> no see this is what we're dealing with at the moment he is obsessed with my hair anytime I get on the floor with him he just goes absolutely mental hey rockstar you're in a very playful mood aren't you yeah Let play with your donut <gasps> come on he's very very bouncy and frolicky his favourite thing so far has been like frolicking in the garden our grass is a little bit too long for him and he sort of flor flor ugh, frolics through it. So he's been loving that. That's the blanket he's been sleeping on. Only when we're in the lounge. And then this is the blanket that he just likes to destroy. Um, but yeah, I got him this really cute little donut um, earlier. And to begin with, he didn't want it. And now he loves it. And it is so cute. We got him one of these as well. Which is like a... Um, is specifically for puppies who are like teething and stuff so he chews on that a lot and i didn't think he would but he really really loves this as well it's like a tug of war rope with like a ball on it that he'll just have a little gnaw on but yeah you're a very naughty boy aren't you i still can't believe he managed to get out of that cage it's ridiculous hey No tricks as of yet. Um, he's just starting to learn off, <laughs> which is the one that we're going to need the most at the at the moment. But yeah, honestly, his coat is so so soft. He's literally like a fluffy little cloud. Rocky, Rocky, come on, Rocky. Hello. <laughs> But yeah, that was my exciting news. I had to keep quiet for so long. Um, so I'm glad I could finally share it. Um, 
I hope you've liked this video. Um, it's got a puppy in, so why would you not? Um, if you have enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. Um, if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe um, with the subscribe button um, because I'm posting twice at the week at the moment. Um, yeah, and I will be posting way more photos on my Instagram channel, which is at Louise Henry UK, if you guys aren't already following. Um, and of course, Rocky actually has his own Instagram as well, even though we've only had him a day. Um, and his, what is his Instagram? Rocky the Cavapootron. Um, I'll put the link here anyway. But yeah, give them both a follow if you want more doggy spam. Um, but until then, I will see you guys next time.